Hello everyone, we're going to Let's Talk About It Time. Now, as you can see, I'm ready for bed, but I'm going to give y'all a little juice. A friend came to me and asked me to do this video. Should I wear it or not? Hmm. In what time and period of a relationship does a man feel it's in his best interest to use a condom having SEX with his girlfriend? The first day y'all decide to have relations lol now let's say we have been dating for two and a half years and my man put on a condom without me knowing and when he placed it in to me I noticed I'm going to tell him to get up and our hot and spicy night will be coming to an end. Then I'm going to cuss this behind that. I'm going to tell him have he lost his cotton picking mind. What is the problem? What's wrong, man? What, what, what What's going on? Is this something you need to tell me? Do you got something? What's up? When I first meet a guy and we start dating, I always told him, no prime, no time. Because I don't know you like that. Hopefully I have learned you. Because I have given us time to know each other. But the point is, I don't know if someone's hiding something from me. So, no crime, it was no time. Now, if y'all talk about it, and she says, okay, it could be she's holding on to you for some reason. It could be money, a place to stay, and she could be testing out the new guy first while still with you. So it, you know, if it doesn't work out, then she'll still have you. So you have to be real careful. Because if you're suspicious of something, then you need to talk about it. Don't hide it. Don't, you know, but make sure you know what you're doing. Because sometimes you can slap yourself in the face. You know, it, it can be kind, It can be anything, you know. So you have to be really, really careful on that note. Now, as I said earlier, talk about it. Tell her how you feel, what you think, and take it from there. Because if you're wrong and she's being a faithful girlfriend, you may lose her for good. You got to know what you're talking about. Because women go through changes and it can be, it can be something that just has to do with, you know, um, emotions. It can be something that has to do with, um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say, but it's like, um, like your hormones. It can be anything. Now, 
if for any reason you do realize that she is cheating or messing around, well, that's the same thing, but that she is, you know, doing something that you worried about, then you need to close the chapter and close the doubt. Uh-uh, we don't need no condom. It's a done deal. You go your way, I go mine. It's time to go. Because you don't want to let something happen and then you forgive that person and then they turn around and do the same thing over and over again. So you have to really, really be careful. So if you are suspicious of could she be doing this or could she be doing that, then you need to think about what the situation is before you talk to her about it. Because like I said, if she is the good girl and you turn around and you tell her you're going to use a condom, it may be over for you. She might say, so since you got to use a condom, then you go use it on someone else because you won't be using it on this right here. Because I'll tell a person in a minute. You know, if I know I'm behaving myself, I'm doing my girlfriend duties, and I am only with you, then there's no reason for us to use a condom. Now, sometimes a woman may have personal situations. And I'm not talking about a menstrual. I'm just saying personal situations with their body where maybe they do want to use a condom because maybe they don't want to get pregnant or maybe their body is going through a change and they don't know what it is, but they want to make sure they're safe. So that's a different story. But if you want to use a condom because you're scared that that woman is sleeping with someone else or someone's else, more than one pure, <laughs> I can't get it out. Cannot get that word. <laughs> We're going to leave it alone. Because I can't get that word out right now. But more than one, then it is not a good idea to use a condom. Because you know what you're telling that person? By me using a condom, I'm telling you that it's okay for you to do what you're doing, continue to do what you're doing, and I'm going to still accept you. Because I'm going to take it a little further. So if you're going to use a condom and you and this person, um, let's just say the word go down, town. Get it? Then what are you going to do for that? So, the key thing is, <sighs> say goodbye if you feel, well, let's take that back a little bit. Talk about it. And if the person say, yes, I am seeing someone else. Yes, I am sleeping with you and someone else. Then that's when it's time to say goodbye because you don't need to be in there. No woman, no man. I don't see why. I always look at the point of, if you don't want me, bye. Somebody else will. Bye. Because you got to look at, you don't need to mess your life up because that person say, oh, I like this person. I want to see if I really want to be with this person. And I just keep him on, my, you know, my man that I'm living with, I'm keep him on the side. You know, because I, I don't know if it's going to work with this new person. It don't work like that. If you are in a committed relationship with someone, then that means you are committing from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet to that someone. That means there's no, hmm, I'm going to, you know, be with him on Monday and Tuesday. Then I skip Wednesday, you know, to give it a 24-hour break. And then I turn around and I'll be with whoso else ever on Thursday and Friday. And then maybe Saturday and Sunday, I'll just go and do that. No, no, no. It don't work like that. So, 
If you have been in this situation, leave a comment. Tell me about it. So maybe the person that, you know, asked me to do this video, you may be able to help them. So I want to thank you for watching this video with my Noxzema on my face. <laughs> Thumbs it up. If you have watched any of my videos or if this is the first time, hit that subscribe button. Then go to the next button with that notification button. Hit the ring of the bell that says all. Comment. Like. Share. Whatever the case may be. You can do it all. So thank you so much. And again, let's talk about it time. So, I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.